Hey guys, welcome back to another video of mine in Stormworks. Today we are going to be working on our trimotor plane and uh, this is where we are starting out. In the previous video, which is the first one, we ended up building the first engine. This one is going to be the center one, right in front of where the cockpit is going to go. So, today we're actually going to work on adding the actual cockpit itself and also the rest of the main fuselage. Hopefully we can make it look good and uh, yeah, hopefully it'll work well. So, let's get straight to it, shall we? Alright, so this is where we are starting out. Honestly, I really like the colour scheme that we've gone for already, but certain things need changing. So if we go to both sides, I actually want to delete this guy right here and I want to replace it with one of these. Yes, it might look strange. I could actually bring it down to here, but I'm thinking up there makes more sense. It is a little bit strange, but there you go. So if we attach that onto there and I drop it down slightly, that is a bit weird, but should work out. And then if we attach these guys onto there, just like this, that looks fine, I think. <laughs> looks a bit weird, but it is sort of fine. I do need this to sort of be visible still, so that's okay as well. Gonna delete these and the engine stuff, there we go as well as this huge box down here because we no longer need it. There we go. We need this fuselage to look good. Don't know how I'm going to do that just yet. All right, so I think if we actually place one of these guys on top of here and we spin these guys around, that is going to look okay, but I don't know whether it's quite right. After that, I'm actually going to go and attach one of these guys onto there, just like so, and I will actually bring it out to the side by, like, one. Yeah, that seems okay. If I then grab this piece... Whoa... Hang on, if I grab this piece, turn it around, and drag this down, we could actually have the plane go backwards from there as well, which will look fine. However, I think I'm going to do it in white. So if I shove that going backwards like that, that looks fine. And then if I do this, uh, and that, yeah, you know what? That's probably okay. Looks a little bit like a fairy gannet, but that's, that, that's alright, I think. <laughs> that's alright, I think. So, we'll shove this guy into there like so. That looks pretty good. And then from there, I think we just attach one of these guys on. And that is pretty much it. So, shove this guy under here like this. That's fine. And that is where our cockpit is gonna go. Yeah. Oh yeah, this'll look fine. I do have to sort something out down here. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do just yet. But if I attach that onto there like so, and we attach these guys under here like this, maybe that will actually look fine. It does look a little bit strange. But I think that's sort of okay. Alright, shove this guy under there like that. Beautiful. I mean, I say beautiful. It still looks very weird. Alright, so because this is like the exhaust place, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and paint in there in some sort of dark grey. Maybe even like very dark grey. Somewhat like this. Yep, there we go. We're going to do this bit on the top as well. And of course the same on the bottom, just like this. And I would say that looks somewhat okay. Actually, let's go to slightly lighter grey for this last bit right here and that looks fine beautiful all right it's now our time to actually work on the windows this is something that i think i'm going to struggle with making it look right but we might be able to do it so let's start out by adding those windows that we've just added right there i then want to add oh something like that might actually be kind of fun and then if i can try and fit one of these onto there then maybe this will actually all look okay. <laughs> what is the likelihood of that actually working though? Probably very, very, very low. Uh, I do need to somehow get a box there. Maybe that'll work. All right, let's try it again. Grab this piece, turn it around, shove it onto there like that. Yeah, you know what? That works. Delete these guys as we go. And then we have to try and fit the rest of it into there. No idea how this is going to work, but I think we can somewhat sort this out. So corner full, that actually goes into there like that. We then need a center window, which is just one of these, question mark, I think. There we go. And then we build around that. Okay, so I'm thinking one singular box right there. And then we add like a this to here, like that. And then I don't really know what to do. Should we send it backwards one further or should we just leave it like that? I think we go backwards a tiny bit more. All right, there we go. I think we leave it just like that. I'm actually going to go ahead and add an extra window right here at the top. Actually, that is going to be a 2x2. Two two. There we go. And we'll fill the rest in just like this. That looks like a pretty decent cockpit to me, so we will keep it as is. We're then going to actually add some keys to the roof. 
And that will be one for each engine. So shove these guys in there. That seems like a fun place to have to have them. I think so, anyway. Uh, around the edges of those, though, we are going to paint those this color. And that's A-OK. -okay. We're going to have a few more things in the roof, too. So if we get some buttons, I'm actually just going to go and shove those up here as well. And that should be fine. Oh, hang on. Are these two-sided? What's going on? Ah, they are. All right, here we go. They're in there. Beautiful. And we're going to paint around the outside with this. There's one. There's two. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so shove this guy into there like that. This guy into here like this. Attach these guys together. Does that look okay? As the cockpit goes. I think so. Okay, so what are some of the issues that we're actually going to have with this cockpit? I think one of them is going to be actually fitting a dry, or like a pilot seat in here. Uh, and a co-pilot seat. I don't know how much we're going to be able to fit into this. But uh, we will see. So three down, there we go. We're going to have a lot of space underneath for fuel and stuff like that. I am going to paint this guy like this. And oh no. I'd have to paint those guys like that and I don't really want to. So actually, the dash is going to be grey. The inside of these is going to be grey anyway. There we go. And I might as well make the top bit grey too. That looks pretty good anyway. Yeah. Alright, the seating situation is uh, not correct. I don't know what to do about this. So I want the pilot seat to go around there. Let's go and delete these guys. We'll actually knock it down by one. And hope that that doesn't look too weird. Alright, seat. It does fit. Oh, it does actually fit in there. Okay, what happens if we go to see outside, though? Can we actually see? Yeah, we can see outside, and we can actually turn around and turn these on. Okay, that works. All right, so next to the pilot, we're actually going to have another seat, and that is going to be one of these, and that goes right there like that. Okay, uh, not the best design in the world for right now. Uh, in fact, actually, I want to move this guy forwards by one. So delete those, put them into here, shove the padded seats onto there just like that, and we are going to box this off on the back and just shove one of those on there like that. So we got like a mini seat next to the main seat. Hopefully that's fine. Okay, I was actually looking into the shape of these vehicles, and I would really like to actually attach that onto there like that. However, I know that that's not really going to look very good right here in this corner. If we just don't look at that corner though, it'll actually look fine. But I'm thinking, I don't know, if we got any way of making that look any better? I don't really think so. Maybe if I just do this to begin with and then just have the rest of it go backwards like that? I don't know, maybe that'll be fine. Okay, so I've gone ahead and painted around the edge right here just to make sure that looks good. We now need to figure out where the actual passengers are going to sit and where their windows and stuff are actually going to go. Because I'm currently not sure. I think generally they actually sit a little bit lower, so we might have to try and figure that out. Uh, we're also going to actually grab this and send this guy backwards too. Going to send this guy backwards as well, and we might need to move the flooring around, but for now, it's okay. Good. Alright, so that's a cockpit. Yes. Going to go and shove that into there, and then if I add seats back here, that'll be fine. However, the seating, I kind of want to put on the side. Ooh! Not the best way of doing this, but actually might be fine. Can I have them further? Oh, no, we can't actually have them together. Ah, because I wanted to add actual back places to these, but I can't really do that. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's add. Oh, this is going to look like an old fashioned plane, actually, if I do it this way. So we're going to add like a little way through on the front. We're then going to add the seating down the sides, which again is probably very strange, but will work, maybe. So shove these guys down the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There we go. So that's 18 seats in the back. I'm going to delete the rest of this, and then we'll have to like redesign another piece, but that's fine. So delete all of that. There we go. All right. So far, so good. Passenger windows are actually going to go down here somewhere. Because I think that's where they're actually going to be able to see out of. So if we type in window, yes, grab one of these and shove it onto there like this. One there, one there, one there, and we'll do a, a smaller one right here, like this. Because I've seen that on a few planes. I think it's the same on the JU-82. No, 52, sorry. Uh, there we go. Shove that into there like that. 
It looks weird, but I think it can work out. Okay, so that is what we currently have. Uh, yeah, it looks a little bit strange. I'm not sure I like it so much, but mm, I, it might be fine. Once we add like wings and stuff like that, I feel like the straightness of this will probably be like mixed up a little bit, and I'm sure that'll be fine. So we've now got to start off with the back end. I don't know how I'm going to make this look, <laughs> and I don't know how it's going to work. But essentially, because we've only got 1x4s, we're going to have to use those going up the back end. So let's go ahead and make this one white. There we go. And we're essentially just going to have to do this. Which is somewhat fine, but at the same time, not really. Let's do it again down here. There we go. We are just going to have the back bit be pretty much flat like this. As we go backwards, there we go. Do it again, and again, and again. Alright, nice, and nice, and I guess we'll do it there too. Alright, beautiful. So far, so good, I think. We are going to have to add, like, doors on the sides of this, which I'm not sure about just yet. But the rest of it is looking fine. If I attach these guys onto here as well, hopefully that doesn't look too bad. It might look a little bit bad. Nah, you know what? Overall, that's pretty good. Yeah, as far as, like, plain fuselages, I think that actually looks somewhat fine. Yeah, we are going to have to add doors in certain areas. I think this will actually be a door. So let's go to the inside and delete the seats next to it. That's fine. And we'll turn it into a door very soon. In fact, we could probably already delete these. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be a door. Excellent. All right, so I've moved in the back end like this. So uh, the horizontal stabilizers will probably actually come out of here anyway. So we'll build that out. Uh, essentially just like this. I think, and then they'll come out of the sides right there. We'll then have the vertical stabilizer obviously come out of here, and that should end up looking about right. Okay, I'm changing this window. We're actually going to go ahead and delete that. We are going to go ahead and put a window in here, which is a 1x2 window, and now I need to actually add certain things to this. So uh, if I can, let's do this from there down to here. Cut that. Yep, paste it. There we go. Send it to the other side. We are going to cut it and paste it. And I'm going to delete this guy right here. We're then going to get ourselves a pivot. We'll shove it on there and everything should work out. Okay, right. Shove that on there like so. Merge this guy. Merge this guy. Get a button. We'll shove it in there. There we go. Two-sided. Bosh. And we need to connect all that together with a switch box so these guys actually open. All right, so there it is. It might open inwards and that would be bad. Yep, no, that is actually very bad. So we need these to change to uh, minus one. There we go. And minus one right there as well. Spawn it in. Let's try this again. So this door should open outwards. Yeah, I mean, I guess that works. I need to paint that piece right there, but we can get inside the aircraft. Sit inside a seat and we can actually get through into the pilot seat. Can we get back out? Yeah. All right, this works, I think. As far as fuselages go, I think this actually looks alright. I decided to add a bit of a stripe down the side as well, but I don't know whether I am a fan or whether I'm not a fan of that, but uh, for now, you know what, actually, how about we change that colour to be something else, and maybe it'll look a little bit better. So like a blue, maybe? Like a... Ooh, that actually looks pretty sick, to be fair. Yeah, you know what, we're gonna go with that. That is gonna be the colour that it is, at least for now, anyway. Awesome. Uh, right, okay, we will add some like paint blocks and stuff like that just to try and make some extra details on this But for now that is gonna be the shape of our fuselage um, Yeah, I don't know what to do about the engines. Obviously, we're gonna have two more engines on this I don't know whether we should have raised wings or lowered wings. No idea just yet, but for now that's looking pretty good Yeah, anyway for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video so far and the series so far, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.